Hello, my name is Rocket, and welcome back to episode 25 of my Pokemon Fire Red Omega Hardcore Nuzlocke. Last episode, we went ahead and did all of round 21 and 20, as well as get a new, uh, a few new encounters. And today, the objective is to go through the Pokemon Mansion as well as do the Cinnabar Gym. So I actually want to start off by doing something I actually forgot to do before I started the episode, which is teach Surf to Mizuchi. Uh, we're gonna be fighting a lot of fire types today, as uh, you know, a little bit, maybe a little bit obvious because of the Cinnabar Gym. And I think Mizuchi will have to fight a few Fire-type Pokemon, and I think having Surf will actually benefit it. Maybe because it doesn't have any other move, like, um, it has, like, Flamethrower, it has Ice Beam, right? It has, like, um, a Dragon Rage, so no really good move to fight the Pokemon today. So we're going to start off by getting our new encounter on the Pokemon Mansion. Now, we can get a lot of Pokemon in the Pokemon Mansion. Let me let me just tell you, we can get Rattatan, Raticate, Fulpix, Scrollife, Ponyta, Grimer, Muck, Ghastly, Coughing, Weezing, Ditto, Slugma, Macargo, Zigzagoon, Lightning, Numel, Camerupt, and Shuppet. So that's a lot of encounters we can get. I'm going to get an encounter on the first floor. That means we're either going to be getting um, uh, a coughing or a Shuppet because it dupes. Um, we can get a lot more Pokemon on the first floor, but I think getting the coughing here is ideal. I usually thought that uh, Grimer was a better encounter because I thought Muck was better than Weezing. But actually, but because, uh, I don't know, it just feels like so hard to kill sometimes. But actually... Uh, Weezing might be better than, I think actually Weezing is better than Muck because uh, so many things. It actually, it has a really good way to counter a few Pokemon, as well as uh, it has Levitate for the ground type weakness. So that's really helpful. We might, all right. So we got, we got the Coughing first try, really nice. And this is gonna be our Pokemon Mansion counter. Pretty much the best I think that we could have gotten. Um, I didn't really have a good name for this, so I'm just gonna go for, for a very normal name. I'm gonna go with Stick Bomb. I really couldn't think of anything. I usually have Hazard, that's a very um, normal, I guess, um, poison type uh, nickname for uh, for my Grimer, because I actually like Muck more than Weezing. So, um, yeah, oh well. Um, stink Bomb, there we go. So I have Stink Bomb the Coffin, and now we're just gonna repel and go as fast as possible through the Pokemon Mansion, because I wanted to do both the Pokemon Mansion and the Cinderbar Gym today on this episode, so it might be a little rough. We're just gonna go ahead and do everything as well as fight all the trainers, as per usual in the Nuzlocke rules I usually have. And we're gonna start by fighting this trainer over here. So this this uh, youngster over here has a Spinda, an Ariados, Ariados, whatever, <laughs> I never know, and Eradicate, which is attack, special attack, and um, speed, so it's exactly what Mizuchi wants. Um, we're gonna go for like a flamethrower here, why not? Feel the fire. And yeah, so the plan is just to defeat every single Pokemon up until Blaine. Then I'm gonna have my grinding session for every Pokemon at the level cap, which is 58. And then we fight Blaine, and that will be the end of the episode. Um, why they're in a win or in a loss, we do not know yet. Um, I have no idea. Oh man, Spin is so annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Holy moly. I might go to, um, to other Pokemon. So I, I actually, again, never introduced the team. So for today, we have Mizuchi, you have Pulsar, Rocket, Kiki, Kitsune, and Whiskers. I'm gonna go here to Rocket, um, because I'm confused, and Mizuchi, I do not want to lose it. I, you know, I have it on the team, in case it can do stuff, it's right there, right? I, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt, as, it, you know, I can do things as a Dragonair, but, um, I think the main priority is just to keep it safe, in case we want, you know, the Dragonite, a, a very strong Pokemon that we might use throughout the, throughout the Nuzlocke, you know, it's still... It's, it's hard to get, but once we actually get it, it becomes very strong, so um, I want to use it, I wanted to get, uh, you know, fights going, but I still want to keep it safe at all costs, so if you, we are going to get confused and we don't have that much HP, like right now, I'm actually going to go and switch, just to be extra safe. Yeah, I'm just going to have Rocket uh, deal with most trainers today, actually, because it has Surf, I taught it Surf, I'm not really sure if Kiki can want to Surf, but why bother when you have Rocket? Uh, so yeah, I also was scared about the the, rank, uh, the Raticate because of Hyper Fang, but... Uh, Rocket is being quite nice. That goes the first youngster. That's all the trainers in the first floor. I mean, right now. So there we go. So I think now we're gonna actually go all the way to the third floor and um, be the trainer that we can find there. And Rocket actually has an item. Is it a rare candy? No. I'm gonna have to heal him up because, uh, you know, he's hurt. <laughs> and he might be, you know, Rocket needs to heal, be healed up. Yeah, I don't, I'm not I'm not really gonna care too much about the items we can get here, it's like vitamins and stuff. It's not like the end of the world. Yeah, we're gonna go to the third floor and fight this burglar right here. He has a nine tails, which is a special attack and special defense. So because it's special defense, we're gonna have to use uh, our scapegoats. I'm gonna use rocket specifically because of the surf. 
It should be uh, a decent battle. As you can see, like, uh, the Knight is level 49, so, uh, you know, the trainers are still scaling up on those levels and being quite close to mine, which is pretty interesting. Actually, um, I think the, the, the fights on Blaine's Gem are actually quite decently, um, like, on the difficulty is not as hard as usual, which is nice. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, they, ha they have, like, a lot of first evolution Pokemon, baby Pokemon, stuff like that, which is... Um, you know, a little bit easier to fight than, you know, fully evolved Pokemon. So we're going to see if Ranga can actually, you know, get the Confused Drain and hit. And that's so nice. So we can finish the battle in a win. Really good. There you go. There's uh, the trainer on the, on the third floor. right? And Ranga gets level 51, which is completely fine. And there we go. So then we're going to go back down to the second floor. We're going to fight another Burglar. And that Burglar has a Magby and a Charmeleon. Which is speed and special attack, and there I go doing background noise. I love it. And we're gonna be using Pulsar. We haven't used Pur we haven't used Pulsar that much. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure we. I'm. Oh, we use it on Sabrina, right? All right, we got the max potion for free there, which is fine. Let's go ahead and fight the burglar. Yeah, the Pokemon mention is quite fast. Um, not that much really interesting here. It's a pretty cool location, but. <laughs> There's not really that much to do here. It's pretty interesting because, uh, you know, all the story with uh, Mew Mewtwo and uh, Dittos. But other than that, you know, I just kind of want to get through. I really like um, um, Grimer and Muck. I really think it's a really cool design. I like it. So that's also uh, a thing I can highlight, I guess. But other than that, uh, and, and the vitamins you can get here, I guess I can sell them for like a lot of cash. But other than that, it's like, you know, just kind of want to get through. And to do this part a little bit quick because, you know, uh, going through the Pokemon Mansion and the, the, the Cinnabar Gym in one video, you know, it's not that easy. So I need to be a little bit quicker through things. I'm pretty sure there's an item right here. So let's go get that. There's also an item there, but I need to go to the to the statue, right, and turn it off. I'd rather not. <laughs> Alright, let's just move on. Let's go ahead and move up. So the next trainer we're going to be fighting... Oh, is there a trainer here? I'm going to turn this... There is one. Oh, did I not have repel? It might have um, turned away while I was doing other stuff. So you got a Vulpix. So it came. Oh, you have Kitsune on the team, right? We haven't uh, seen Kitsune in a long time. So that's going to be cool. I really like uh, Ninetales. So let's see, isn't there a trainer? Yeah, there is a trainer here. The Scientist, right? So this Scientist has um, uh, an, ele an Electric, an Amphros, and a Spiro. Which is um, speed and special attack. We're gonna be using Kitsune for this fight. I kinda like using Kitsune for electric times for some reason. Um, it's not like my other special attackers can do that well anyway because they're all like electric types. So this is fine. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure not Kitsune can do the jump pretty well. And we haven't seen Kitsune in so much. You know, she's level 47, which is, um, you know, when we grinded to level 47 every single Pokemon. That was a while ago as well. <laughs> so um, we haven't used Kitsune in a long time. Um, but it's good to have it, uh, you know, just there in case we need it. Uh, since we already lost all of our other fire times, we lost uh, both um, Shiba the Growlithe and um, Wildfire the Rapidash. So, you know, <laughs> we gotta keep our, our last fire type safe in case we need it. We can also, I mean, no, we couldn't get any other fire time because we already got them all, so it would it would kind of just zoops. Oh well. Alright, so we're just gonna kill the Amphro. This was the scariest Pokemon to get. I actually th always think that Amphro is a special defense for some reason, but it is special attack. Um, so that's quite good. And the Spearow. Pretty good scientist fight. Next up, we have another scientist, yes? Yeah, we do. That was why I, that was why I took a, li a little second there. I was like, what? Yeah, this scientist does not have this, does he? <laughs> so the next scientist will actually have a Marowak and a Weezing, which is full defense EVs. So I'm going to go ahead and use Whiskers. Yes, that's why we have Whiskers. Even though I th I'm not going to go with the Earthquake because it has Levitate, it can still just surf the Weezing quite okay. I'm pretty sure it can tank it really nicely. I can go down here and get something. I think it's Vitamins. Um, so let's go get it. Why not? It is a Vitamin. HP up. I can actually sell these for a lot of cash, so I'm okay with that. And let's go down here and fight the next Scientist. Hello. Yeah, but right, so far, pretty good. Pokemon Mansion been going quite fine. The fights have been going okay. Um, uh, I'm happy with how the results are going. So, Marowak. This shouldn't do that much damage to me anyway. Um, it doesn't have that very good special defense compared to his defense. And there we go. <laughs> Whisker is doing so much damage, though. I, I wasn't expecting this to be as um, as good defensively as it is. Because it's more of a bulky Pokemon, right? 
Or maybe that's just my um, how I see it. Not quite sure. I don't remember its stats that well. Oh, holy crap. So this can actually be kind of scary because it has self-destruct, right? Probably, but um, uh, we're just going to kill it. Good. All right. That's always a positive when it doesn't explode. That's something else I can actually uh, get my... If I actually am going to use um, Stink Bomb in any fight, uh, an explosion might be very useful, right? Uh, as, as well as Short Fuse, I think it has self-destruct, so pretty cool. Alright, so there, there's only a few more trainers, two more trainers to fight. The next one has a Torkoal and a Camera Up, which is Defense Attack and Special Attack. We're going to be using Rocket, and we have uh, Kiki as a backup. So let's go ahead and get the Asper Berry. So, no, it's not going to give me the rare candy I so desire. Unfortunately, unfortunate, but well. So we got Carbos there, and let's fight this. I think this is a Burglar. I think the other is a scientist. Kind of hard to, uh, you know, sometimes tell the difference. There we go, it is. So, uh, yeah, the Torkoal is defense, and then the camera is attack and special attack. Uh, because of the defense, we're not going to be using Mizuchi. I'm pretty sure we're going to be using Mizuchi at least once more, but uh, I just, I just kind of want to keep it safe until I actually have a grind session to put it at level 55 and actually get it as a Dragonite so it becomes a monster. Alright. Yeah, the serve helps a little bit here. Um, Glad that Rocket has it. It makes the fights go a little bit faster, right? I think, I guess. And yeah, Rocket is doing quite fine. All the fights are going quite well. Yeah, I probably even one-shot the camera because of its being fire and ground. So that's that's also something interesting. Yeah, we do. Damn, there we go, Rocket. Stepping up when Kiki has to, you know, uh, stay a little bit behind because it doesn't have Surf. Yeah, so I think I actually think Rocket does more damage because of it. So we're gonna switch this. And then the next trainer has a Magnemite and a Magneton, which is special attack, and that's another reason we have Kitsune here. Kitsune does very well against the Magnemite and the Magneton. And we're gonna go ahead and get this item, which is a full restore. Okay. So let's go ahead and go up and fight the last trainer in the Pokemon Mansion. We're gonna use the Super Bell. I don't know what I was looking for, it was right there in front of me. Let's go ahead and fight the last trainer in the Pokemon Mansion. So yeah, the Pokemon Mansion is a pretty interesting location, but, you know, you gotta go fast if you want to make it on time on everything. So let's see, the Magnemite and the Magneton should only be um, a flamethrower each, and you should be fine. And Kitsune's moveset looks so good, you know, Wilbur's Hypnosis and Confuse Rain, really nice. And the flamethrower for damage, it looks really cool. I'm not sure when it can be useful though, you know, fire times in this game. Um, not that useful, like, at least going a little bit later into the game, you know, against them. Um, uh, Blaine doesn't really help me that much, right? Um, Giovanni being round types doesn't really help me that much. Just some more like uh, normal, regular fights, I guess. Not even that much, actually, right? We haven't seen uh, Kitsune in a while. But oh well. Um, I really like this Pokemon, so when I can use it, I'm gonna use this. We can actually get Blizzard. Yeah, and then we switch. This is Blizzard. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know some stuff, huh? And now we switch this and we get the key. The secret key, right? And there's also Solar Beam, I think, down there on the plants. It's got the secret key. It might not be Solar Beam. Oh, it is. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just going to leave with the Escape Rope, because I don't want to go all the way back for no reason. So let's use an Escape Rope. This is the second one I think I use in the whole playthrough. So, or the Nuzlocke, you know, holy crap. Alright, so now we're going to go heal our team and enter the Cinnabar Gym. With the first fight, it has a Vulpix, a Charmander, and Ninetales, which is uh, speed, special attack, and special defense. We're gonna keep using Rocket. Is he in first place? No, it's Kitsune. So we're gonna switch into Rocket and probably defeat that trainer. Every, every, everything for there just gets a little bit easier, actually. So uh, let's go get Rocket in first place. No pickup item, unfortunately, but oh well. Can't get them all. But maybe a rare candy if you're gonna take a little bit longer, right? I don't mind. We still only have 17. That's so little. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. I'm not even gonna um, bother a little bit with the quizzes. I think I already answered them all correctly on my Leaf Green one, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and fight the trainers and lock the doors that way. Alright, so let's see. So yeah, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not dodging the questions. I know how to answer them, okay? I did it, okay? It's in my Leaf Green one. Go watch that if you want. <laughs> right, we're just gonna spam Surf. There's not much um, to talk about here. Just uh, spamming Surf and trying to kill them all. The Vulpix actually gets a Flamethrower off, which is kind of scary. How much does it do? Thank god it's just a Vulpix, so we're gonna Slash actually just to save some Surf PP. I think we're gonna be using a little bit more Rocket as we go forward. Yes, we are, so 
Uh, try to keep it as healthy as possible as well with uh, as much PP on the surface as possible. Next up is a charm, man. I really like his sprite. It looks really cool. Yeah, we're just gonna... I think this actually takes down on one hit, right? Yeah. Charmander is not that bulky. So there we go. And finally, the Ninetales. The problem in this fight was the Ninetales because of the special defense that gets me. Alright, so we're gonna just keep surfing. It goes for the quick attack. Shouldn't damage, exactly. Even I, I think I, th I think we even survive a flamethrower at this point. Maybe not a crit, though. I'm not really sure how much damage Ninetales does. Ooh, and that was a critical hit. We almost killed it. I'm gonna go for another Slash, then. We are actually faster. I think that was a speed tie, right? I think it attacks for, uh, attacked first in the first um, turn. Interesting. And we go level 52 rocket, doing incredible. I'm actually gonna give it a hyper potion just to make sure it's extra healthy going into the next fight, because I'm actually gonna be using rocket, right? Yes, because the next fight it is a trainer that has a grimer, which is HP, girl life, which is attack, and then camera up, which is attack and special attack. Uh, so yeah, let's go heal. I only have hyper potion, so oh well. I'm pretty sure we have a lot of cash. That's fine. Uh, we yes, uh, seeker man gives you so much cash if you just refight the trainer over and over, right? So yeah, um, this fight should also be okay. I think I'm actually gonna slash the the Grimer. I'm not really sure has higher defense or special defense, but um, I think I'm just gonna go for the slash here. Maybe save some uh, some surf PP going up. I think we only want to use Rock in two more fights though. That's fine. Yeah, slash is pretty good. It went for the Screech, which isn't that scary, right? The, if you're you were thinking that the you know the fire types will use you know fire type moves, which is special, the Screech won't really help them that much. And yeah, the next Pokemon is the Growlithe and the Gamera. I guess the Growlithe might go for like a Body Slam or a Takedown or something. Uh, Intimidate shouldn't do anything as well, because we're going to go for Surfs now on. So that's pretty nice. Um, I'm not, I don't think the skills might, might maybe. Oh, alright. Pretty close as well. It goes for the Takedown, so yeah, damn, it's actually using the Screech. It's actually going to hurt a lot. Yep, that does hurt a lot. I might just switch here. I actually, I think the Surf one shots, right? I, th I think I can risk it. I think... Uh, I'm confident that uh, we will actually be fa oh level 52, uh, level 51. I think we're faster still, yeah. And the surf should still one shot, right? It's four times super effective. There's no reason this lives exactly. So confident in my decision in background noise. All right. So another trainer defeated. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we're gonna use rocket on the next fight as well because it has a Magmi, a Ponyta, a Macargo, and a Solra, which is speed, defense, and attack. So no one really wants all three of those things. Um, the, the closest one is probably Totoro, but. I don't really want to give him a lot of speed EVs, I really don't like that because he's already very slow. So I'd rather just give it to, to Rocket and then uh, we can use Kiki's backup if you need it, but I think we'll be fine. But it is four Pokemon, so you know. After this, all the fights are pretty easy, so this, I think this is actually the hardest fight we're going to be getting because it's four Pokemon. So let's see. Rocket still has a lot of Surf PP, so he should be fine. We're going to Surf the Magmi. This should actually be one shot. Magmi shouldn't be that bulky, right? Oh man, actually, wow. I'm actually a little bit surprised. Oh! It says it also got buffed, right? So that that might be something that uh, made it not die. I'm actually gonna switch here. I don't like being confused when I can just switch into Kiki. Kiki can help me out, and then I can actually switch back into Ronkid when I need to. Uh, so Kiki should be faster than Magmi. Should attack before it actually tries to confuse. Ray, oh, cross chop! Holy, it was a critical too, because um, it has a high crit rate. We're gonna covet. That should kill. And then we're gonna have to switch back into Ronkid. Who? Scary stuff, I tell you. Holy moly. Would have known to Magby. Uh, so yeah, Cross Chop actually has high crit rate, so it's not like, oh, unlucky crit. It's actually, I guess, supposed to be, um, you know, critting. <laughs> so we're gonna go back for the Rocket here, because Kiki is already a bit low. You might need to switch to different Pokemon. It goes for the Bounce. I'm pretty sure I'm faster than this, so that's kind of annoying. Yep. We're gonna take the Bounce. I don't know how much damage Bounce even does. It doesn't seem like a lot. Maybe because Bowington doesn't have very high attack? I actually think uh, Ponyta is actually pretty good defensively, because Rampadash is, so I'm not sure. Went for agility, so it's going to be faster now. Hopefully it doesn't go for the another bounce and... Okay, takedown. That should actually kill it, right? No, okay. Then my Slash will, which is fine. So yeah, we're getting pretty low. The Mercago should actually be quite easy to, to kill, right? Is it, isn't it, like, Fire Rock? I think, right? So this should be a one-shot. And then we have this Soul Rock. What is Soul Rock? I think it's it was the fence, right? Uh, I think it was the fence. So we could just switch on like a, to Whiskers or something. I'm pretty sure we can win this fight though. I'm gonna go for a Surf here. See how much damage it does. It should do about half. Yeah, this is, this shouldn't kill me. Cosmic Power. What does that do? It raises the fence. Okay, that's fine. I'll just go for another. Oh, and special fence. Okay. 
I'm gonna go for another serve. Let's see if it kills. It raises special offense, but is it that much though? No. Okay, yeah, we're fine. Good job, Rocket. Rocket did really nicely. I, I hardly had to use Kiki. I only used Kiki for um, the confusion. That's pretty good. I don't think we're gonna be using Rocket or Kiki anymore, so that's quite good. The next up fight, though, we have a, a, a person with a Torchic with a special attack. I'm gonna be using Pulsar. Alright, so let's go ahead and go for Pulsar and fight this trainer. And, uh, so yeah, so yeah, they have a, like, the whole trainer is a Torchic. Yeah. <laughs> um. Not, not as hard as I, I would expect here, right? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go for a Surf, though, and kill the Torchic. I'm pretty sure with one hit, because Pulsar actually has very high special attacks. I'm, I'm very confident this actually one-shots a lot of the Pokemon I'm gonna be using Pulsar to beat. The next trainer has the only Combuskin as well, uh, which is actually attack and special attack. So we're gonna be using Mizuchi instead. Uh, Mizuchi is full heal. I'm pretty sure it can actually kill the, the Combuskin, right? We're gonna Surf. It's gonna be good, right? Right? <laughs> Like, Ryan, come on, don't die. I, I'm, I'm giving you a Combuskin to beat, and you have Surf. I taught you Surf. Like, come on. And I really like the new Combuskin Sprite as well. It's also level 47. I'm pretty sure my Pokemon is better, though. It has EVs, right? You have a lot of special attack EVs, so kill the Combuskin. They oh! You don't kill me, though. Bullcup, yeah, you don't kill me. That's fine. <laughs> that it's attacking the fence, right? Yeah. Another Surf. Just to be extra sure. And there we go, we, Mizuchi was able to be the Kamaskin, yay! Right, next up we have another trainer, <laughs> we're getting close to the end though, with a Cyndaquil and a Slugma, which is speed and special attack. We're gonna go for Pulsar once again, and sh two, shirfs, two serves should actually finish off the Burglar. Or the Scientist, I have no idea. <laughs> they all look alike, they all have, oh, oh, they actually look different! So the, the Scientist has brown hair and, and the, the Burglars have dar or darker hair, you know, like uh, black. Oh, uh, okay. I don't think I ever noticed that. <laughs> I think only now is like, oh yeah, they are different. The things I find out still on this game. <laughs> so there is way to tell. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, the Cyndaquil and the Slugma should be pretty easy kills for the Pul for you know Pulsar the Starmie. And we have one more fight after this before Blaine. So, uh, and we are going to be using Mizuchi again. Because the trainer has a Hound Dower and a Flareon, which is actually special attack and attack. Oh boy, a Flareon is very good, so... Uh, I think Flareon is like a physical attacker, fire type, or not? I don't know, there's a reason why Flareon sucks. Um, and Gen 3 specifically, I think. So we're gonna go for Mizuchi once again. And we're gonna fight the last trainer, which is a scientist, because it has brown here. Oh, oh. And there I go, doing background noise. You didn't hear anything, okay? <laughs> so yeah, the Hound Dower should be quite okay. Um, the Flareon is the one I'm really scared about. Oh yeah, we kill the Hound Dower by decent. Now the Flareon, can we do it? Hopefully, I don't want to lose Mizuchi. Alright, the Flareon we're gonna surf. Hopefully it kills, probably not though. Yeah, only have. Leer. Oh, okay, he leered. Okay, I'm fine, thank god. I was a little bit scared. There is- that is all the trainers, right? We're- we're done here. So, the way it's gonna work now, again, I'm gonna have a grinding session, I'm gonna put- uh, I'm gonna pick my team, right? Um, pick the six Pokemon I want to use against Blaine, and uh, put them at level 58, which is the level camp, because I think uh, Blaine's Magmar is level 58, and we're gonna be fighting Blaine. So I have no idea yet what I'm gonna be using, so I'm gonna be using this opportunity to uh, pick my team, uh, grind them up. It shouldn't be that long uh, because we have the lucky egg. So honestly, tomorrow uh, everything should already be uploaded. So that's really nice because <laughs> uh, usually it takes me two days to do everything. But no, today we have the lucky egg finally. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this part. I'll see you in just a little bit once everything is prepared for Blaine. Uh, bye bye. Fishing for Bar Barboach is just to kill it and feed it to my to my Pico until he has a max HP EVs. That's me. <laughs> he's a, he just comes back and watches me for a little bit, but then he just gets so like grossed out on what, what he's witnessing that he just he just gets away. And he tries not to look back, but but he, he just paralyzed. He's frozen. Are you kidding me? Holy crap! Did we just find another shiny? Are we gonna find one shiny every single Nuzlocke? There's no way we just found a shiny Magikarp. There's just no way this is a shiny Magikarp. There's no way. Holy crap, let's catch this, okay? Oh man. 
Oh man, I guess the Ultra Ball looks better than the Great Ball. I mean, it's, it turns red anyway. So it's like, whatever. I'll go... I'll go with this one, the Net Ball. Oh my god. Here I am just joking around, and then we just find the goddamn shiny Magikarp out of nowhere. Holy crap, and we caught it. It's not like the greatest shiny to find, obviously, because, you know, you can get shiny Gyarados. Um... Man, we could have gotten shiny Barbo, that would have been so much better, but we can, like, get... Uh, what do we even name this thing? Is it a female? It is, so I guess we have the return of Barbara. <laughs> as a shiny form. I don't know if I'm gonna be using this, but it's really cool that we found one. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's not, like, the biggest shiny, right? Because, um, it's, it's like a guarantee on, like, the Gyarados one, but... As a shiny Magikarp, it's really cool. Let's go check it out real quick as well. And of course we found a shiny. Oh man, it, Oh god, yes. Every single Nuzlocke, I guess, we're gonna be finding a shiny. And I don't mind that, is... Like, let's look at it. Have a shiny Magikarp. This is my third shiny ever. And two of them, you know, this this one and the other one, or from the Nuzlocke. That's amazing. It's docile, I think it's pretty bad nature. Right? Um, docile is actually neutral. That's actually not that bad. And has the that little mess ball, which looks cool. Alright, welcome back. Uh, my team is finally ready. The grinding session is over, but something that I want to highlight about the grinding session. We found another one. <laughs> we found ourselves another shiny on the team. We have the Barbara, the shiny Magikarp. I guess uh, we're starting a tradition while I find, you know, where I find a shiny every single uh, Nuzlocke, and honestly, I don't mind it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, if I'm grinding for that long, okay, I might as well get a shiny, right? So let's look at today's team. So, um, um, we're going with kind of a rain team-ish, uh, you know, three, I guess, I mean, two members, I guess, but I'll, I'll go more in detail in a little bit. We, we're starting out for our, um, or team against the blame, we have Kaiser. Kaiser is really good because, you know, he's a very strong Water-type Pokemon that only has weakness to Dragon, which means, you know, Electro-type moves that Blaine does have will not be super effective with Surf, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Rain Dance. Now, um, uh, Kingdra has an ability called Swift Swim, which means that its uh, speed actually doubles in the rain, which is absolutely, you know, uh, a lot of damage. Uh, I mean, a lot of speed. In rain, also makes that your water moves do 50% more damage and that fire moves do 50% less damage. Um, I mean, Blaine will probably not go usually for fire type moves because, you know, we have a lot of water type Pokemon, but it still means that if he does go for them, they will still do less damage and we will still do more damage with our water moves. Next up we have Doppler, the cast form with Weather Ball, Thunderbolt, Distract, and Rain Dance. Now, I was gonna have this with Weather Ball, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Rain Dance. Um, but obviously, Ice Beam isn't going to be very good in this particular fight, so I thought a Trag might be a little bit more interesting. Uh, it's also female, which is, you know, less common, I guess, to find on gym leaders. So I thought a Trag would be cool. Obviously, this goes, uh, this continues the theme of the Rain Dance, right, um, of the Water Team, I guess. Next up, we have Pulsar. Uh, just a very, very strong uh, Water Type, but it's very good offensively, with, you know, 165 Special Attack. 200 speed, uh, 200 speed, that's actually amazing. It has Surf, Confuse Rain, Ice Beam, and Recover. Next up we have Pico, the uh, Pelipper. Uh, we got Pico on round uh, 20, right? And it was just a level 17 Wingle, so I actually had to train it from the ground up. But here it is. Um, ideally, it would have Drizzle. Um, so basically, Pelipper can have two abilities, uh, either Kenai or Drizzle. And Drizzle, basically when that Pokemon gets called into the fight, it actually uh, automatically triggers uh, the rain. Unfortunately, it doesn't have Drizzle, has Skinai. I still decided to use it because water uh, water flying is still a very good typing, and it learns to protect by level up, which is really insane. So yeah, we have uh, Pico the Pelipper with Surf, Supersonic, Protect, and Wing Attack. And we have Static with Fire Punch, Psychic... Uh, oh, it should not be like this. We have Static with Psychic, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and Volt Tackle. So the uh, so in Pokemon Fire Red Omega, um, both, all three starters, uh, Jinx, uh, Electabuzz and Magmar all have a signature move that they learn a bit later um, that Driana put. So Electabuzz learns Volt Tackle, which is an incredibly powerful move, right? 120 power base plus Sav, that's a lot of damage. And it's 100% accuracy, so the user throws an Electrified Tackle, it hurts the user a little. I'm pretty sure Jinx learns Psycho Boost and, uh, and Magmar is Overheat or something. And um, 
Last but not least, we have Mizuchi as a Dragonite. We evolved it from the Dragonite into Dragonite. Uh, it has Surf, Fly, Ice Beam, and Outrage. So I actually have leftovers on Kaiser and Pico. And all the remaining Pokemon have Orange Berries because I, I didn't really have anything too good to give them. But yeah, that's the team I decided to use. We're going to try to abuse a little bit of the Rain Dance and get a team going. And oh, the reason why we have um, Pico is because, you know, he's a water flying. It makes it very good uh, to just stop a few moves as well as protect and just leftovers and just stall a little bit. Kind of a wall, I guess. Static is good because it has Volt Absorb and uh, something that I know is that Blaine actually has Electrochide moves and I can abuse that a little bit. And Mizuchi being a flying type now, uh, it can stop Earthquakes and is a very strong Pokemon overall and Surf will do a lot of damage. That's why we have the rest of those members. But yeah, a grind session took longer than I expected because I actually EV trained both the cast form and the uh, Wingle, the Pelipper, whatever. Um, I fully EV trained them and I had to level them up all the way to level 58 with the rest of them. So it took me a little bit longer than I wanted to, you know. But the team is ready. Um, I don't think the team is as good as it could be. But I think still, I still think it's pretty nice. So let's fight Blaine, shall we? Ha, I am Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. You better have Burn Heal. I can't use Burn Heal, sorry Blaine. Alright, let's fight Blaine. Starting out, he has his Arcanine. Now, Arcanine is a very strong Pokemon. Um, it's very good. It's decently defensively, has 80 base on both defense and special defense, and it's very good offensively as well. It's just a really nice Pokemon that I wish I had, but you know, we had to lose Shiva. So, the plan here is just to go to Rain Dance, get the water going, make them make finer types worse, make water types better, and then just try to sweep with Kaiser. Kaiser also has leftovers, which means it will be a little bit better, you know, we just, um, just try to um, uh, heal him a little bit, and we're going to try to sweep a few of the Pokemon that Blaine has. Not only that, but Blaine's probably going to try to go, you know, the answer for that Blaine has for for water types is going for one of three Pokemon, one of three Pokemons, I think, that have Thunder Punch. The thing is, Kaiser is not weak to Electro-type moves. So now, we are double speed, because we are in the rain, uh, the Swift Swim ability activates, and I'm actually double speed right now, which means I'm definitely going to be faster than uh, all the Pokemon in Blaine's gym, except for, you know, when he tries to extreme speed me. But now, Surf will do 50% more damage, so I'm actually expecting to one-shot a lot of Blaine's Pokemon. This is a time where we need to attack, this is where my team shines, right? When you have the rain going, and I'll try to sweep as many Pokemon as I possibly can before Kaiser gets hit and it actually gets really low. So next up, it goes for the Ninetales. Now, Ninetales is basically the only Pokemon that Blaine has. It has, like, a lot of... Um, um, you know, status condition moves and stuff like that, like has hypnosis, has confused rain, so, you know, the annoying stuff, you know, but the thing is, Kaiser is double speed right now because we're in the rain, that means I'm actually going to be faster than the Ninetales, even though this Pokemon has very high special defense, my Surf is doing 50% more damage than I would have, and that just annihilates every single Pokemon, so this is basically a free turn that I got, and now I heal more with the leftovers, so I'm still attacking with the rain. The rain continues to fall, that means I'm still at double speed, that means I'm still doing double damage, or more damage, I mean 50% more damage with the Surf, and that's really nice, we're still getting the leftovers heal, we are in such a good position. We're gonna Surf again, and Typhlosion should also be one-shot, honestly, like, we're so good right now, we are just incredible. We are just crushing Blaine at this point. This is the moment where we need to be offensive, and just set up the rain again, and then go and continue that. So it goes for the Soul Rock, and our rain continues to fall, you know what that means, we're still at, the, we're still at double speed, we're still healing from the leftovers, we're still doing more damage, we're still one-shotting all of Blaine's Pokemon. And this is one of the easiest sweeps we've done so far. That's the fourth Pokemon I'm gonna kill, by the way. The fourth. I grinded all a team! I did a whole uh, rain theme and just Kaiser's just destroying everyone. <laughs> oh well, what's the next Pokemon? We have the Blaziken, so obviously this Pokemon is very good offensively. The thing is, if he goes for a fire move specifically, it's not gonna do that much damage, right? Uh, especially because he has lower special attack. He's gonna go probably for a fighting move. I am pretty healthy, so I think I'm gonna set up the rain again. There we go, set up the rain. The rain start, stomp, and now we are double speed again. Fire does less damage, he goes for a sky uppercut. Uh, but he's gonna actually has very high attacks, so actually, I am curious to see how much does that do. Not as much as I expected. <laughs> okay, that's actually less than I expected. So I'm gonna heal with the leftovers. I'm doing more damage now because we're in the rain, we have the swift swim, we're doing double speed, and we are incredible. I'm gonna go for another surf, actually. Why did I set up a team? Why? Why? I, I literally could have just had Kaiser in front of the team and had no one else, and I would probably kill Blaine by myself, apparently. Oh my god, that's so many grinding hours. 
But oh well. <laughs> Kaiser level 59 and we have the last Pokemon, the Magmar. This actually has pretty low defense, uh, considering from the special defense, but you know, we're just gonna keep abusing our offensive skills and I had a whole team set up and now I feel a little bit bad because I probably could have done this a lot easier, which is just with Kaiser apparently. Yeah, that <laughs> so I guess this is the easiest fight we had so far. We literally just rain dance and surf, and that was plain. I, I don't even know what to tell you. That was kind of depressing. <laughs> I grinded so many hours for this. I, I EV trained two new Pokemon for nothing. Oh boy. Okay, uh, I feel like, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know if I want to feel good because it's, you know, I just abused Rain Dance and, and, and Kingdra and, and just how Rain Dance works in my advantage. And that was like a good Nuzlocke play. Or to feel absolutely just crushed and sad because I wasted so many times grinding, so, you know, so many hours grinding, new Pokemon, all for just a goddamn shiny magic carve and a sweep from a Kingdra. But yeah, that's, uh, that was the final boss of today. That's kind of. Wow, huh? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even go. I didn't even tell you about the move sets. I didn't tell you about anything. We just kind of just kind of swept, right? Blaine just kind of got swept. That was the most anticlimactic Pokemon Fire Red Omega fight I have ever had. <laughs> oh my god! All right, uh, that's a good thing, I guess. We completely obliterated Blaine. I kind of feel sorry for him. Not gonna lie, that was uh, that was something. But with Blaine defeated, we're actually going here into 1, 2, and 3 island because we can actually get a few more encounters before we go and fight Giovanni and then ultimately try to go for the Elite Four. And we're doing uh, amazing. That was so anticlimactic. I, we didn't even see any of, of his Pokemon. We just crushed all of them. That was... That was something, huh? Oh, man. Oh, man. But yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much gonna be the end of this episode. Very short uh, fight, I guess. I wow, I don't know what to say. You had a full team for that, huh? I am I'm a bit salty, honestly. Damn, I was expecting a fight, you know. But uh, I'm not complaining, you know. We're gonna have uh, you know hard fights coming up. Um, Giovanni in the lead four, and even even Victory Road seems kind of tough with all the cool trainers gonna be fighting. Yeah, there will be it for the, today's episode. Um, next episode we're gonna be exploring one island I think and then um, and that's gonna be it because you know we ha one island is kind of big you need to go th through Kindle Road, Mount Ember, there's a lot of things to do. So yeah I think that's gonna be what we're gonna do and then in two episodes we're gonna be doing two and three island and then we'll we visit Kanto and uh, go for Giovanni. Wow we didn't even get to see anyone else in action that's just kind of sad. Doppler, I was so excited about Doppler uh, I really like Gastron, I think it's a very unique and interesting Pokemon, I really like it. And, um, yeah, at least we, you know, we grinded a few of our good, our be better Pokemon, we finally have a Dragonite, which is, this, you know, interesting, um, but yeah. Ultimately kind of sad. But yeah, that will be the end of today's episode. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you did enjoy it, and I will see you next time.